What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Top 10 with your host, as always, KMAC Time. Today we're going to be talking about some of the greatest games on one of my all-time favorite systems. Of course, we'll talk about the Nintendo 64. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at some of the better racing games for this console. There's some awesome, awesome racing games. Some of the games you might have overlooked. These are kind of like little hidden gems. And then we'll get to, of course, the, the better known ones, the ones that everyone plays and everyone loves. Um, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. But let's go ahead and start, jump right into this with the number 10 on the list. Which is Excite Bike 64, which was released on April 30th, 2000. It was developed by Left Field Productions and published by Nintendo. Now, this game is awesome. I actually love this game. It has superb, really good handling, simple controls, really tight handling, like I said. Also, there's all kinds of boosts, jumps, crazy stunts, and the, there's four player and multiplayer on this. Really, really fun. There's all kinds of game modes to make this game have really, really good replayability. And you see here, huge jumps and fun stuff going on. Very, very, very good game. Number nine is Extreme G2, which was released in October of 1998. It was developed by Probe Entertainment and published by Acclaim Entertainment. And this game has a really, really good sense of speed. You really feel like you're really, really flying down the track in this game. And as you guys can see, it is kind of hard to control if you're new to this game. But once you master the controls and you hit the boost and there's there's weapons in this game, you can shoot in this game and all kinds of fun stuff. Really, really interesting, really, really cool futuristic racer. Um, only other futuristic racer is probably better than this on the N64 is obviously F-Zero, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But other than F-Zero, this game is pretty, really cool. The course design is really cool. There's all kinds of loops and turns and three dimensions to come. Make this game a solid ninth place. Next up at number eight is Cruisin' USA, which was released in November 1996, which was one of the original launch titles for the system and is an all-around great racer. Has all kinds of cool things you can pick from automatic, you can pick your car, your engine setup, and uh, all kinds of stuff. Customize, and then head up to four player, multiplayer. Really, really cool stuff, a really, really cool game. And you see here, it just looks, it looks all right. Didn't look as good as it did on the arcade version of the game, um, mostly because um, the N64 couldn't keep up with the frame rate, uh, but still a, a pretty solid choice. Pretty solid number eight racing game. Very, very cool game. I actually love this game. Next up at number seven is Star Wars Episode One Pod Racer, which was released May 19th, 1999. It was developed by LucasArts and published by Nintendo. Now, this is based upon the pod racing scene from Star Wars Episode One, the movie, and it's actually really, really cool. It's really, really fast paced. You really get a good sense of speed in this game. As you can see, it just looks like you're flying through this game, going really, really fast. Really, really cool. And awesome. It had really good controls. You could also customize your pod. You could also also customize your engine. Lots of customization in this game. Very, very cool part of the game as well. Uh, however, the, the controls of this game is really, really hard because it's because you're moving so fast, it is hard to navigate sometimes, and you really it's really not really uh, beginner friendly. And that's really why I didn't make it higher in this list. But uh, other than that, it's a pretty good game. Coming in at number six is San Francisco Rush 2049, which was developed and released in 2000. It was developed by Atari and Midway, and it was published by Midway. The game is actually really cool. Um, another one of these arcade games that had been ported kind of to the N64. There was three three titles for the Rush series on the N64, but this one I feel like was the best. It had all kinds of big air jumps and cool things with a futuristic scene in the background. Also very cool. Um, there's also free circuit mode. There's time trials. Um, it's also a dynamic environment where each track switches through pressure points and alter the track in moving ways, which is really cool. You can change the track up like that. Very cool game. Kind of innovative for its time. Next up at number five is F-Zero X. This game was released in 1998 and it was developed by Nintendo. And this game has up to 30 different vehicles and different drivers to go along with the crazy amount of customization you can put on all of them. Great, great, great game. Great racetracks. So you see here, Mute City is one of my all-time favorites. This is also a course in Smash Brothers. Amazing, amazing controls. The, the visuals in this game are really, really good, and the frame rate in this game is absolutely amazing. It never drops any frames. Even though you're going so fast, you can have up to 30 people on screen at one time. This game is really, really well done. One of my personal favorites on the system, not just in racing, but in, in the game system itself. Awesome, awesome, awesome game. And like I said, 30 racers. That's insane. And the control is so, so tight in this game. The depth of this game is really, really good. The soundtrack is great. One of the greatest games on the system for sure. 
Coming in at number four is kind of a hidden gem. Uh, I know Metal Jesus Rocks is a big fan of this game as well, but of course we're talking about Beetle Adventure Racing, which was released March 24th, 1999, developed by Paradigm Entertainment and published by EA. Really, really cool game. One of the only drawbacks is, of course, you could only race with Beetles, but there's all kinds of different Beetles you could change. So here's the cop car variant. All kinds of crazy things. There are all kinds of really cool tracks. The way they designed these tracks was amazing. There's all kinds of shortcuts to these tracks. You could play the same track ten times in a row and never take the same path through it. There's so many different shortcuts, things you could do. It's also a great sense of speed in this game. You feel like you're really flying through the courses. There's also all kinds of cool bonus jumps, stunts, battle mode. Four player gameplay is really cool. Really, really solid title. Like I said, hidden gem on the system for sure. Not a lot of people know about this game, but like Metal Gear said, really, really good. Coming in at number three is Wave Race 64, one of the greatest boat racings of all time, in my opinion. When this game was first released in 1996, developed and published by Nintendo, this game looked amazing when it first dropped. It was one of the first N64 games, one of the launch titles for it, and it looked absolutely amazing. People had never seen anything like this with the water dynamics, and of course, all kinds of customization, as you see here, different jet skis, paint jobs, handling, and engine stuff like that, and the graphics back at the time were great, and a really cool thing where you had to go left, right, do all the buoys, and if you got through five in a row, you got a boost, and also there's each, for each one of the nine courses, there's different different tide settings so we, the tide would go in the tide would go out later on in the race you get to race differently and it was really kind of a cool dynamic to the game one of the greatest on the system for sure in our runner-up spot is of course Diddy Kong Racing which was released in 1997 developed by Rare and published by Nintendo this game is one of my personal favorites not just because of the racing but not only because it has Conker in it which is my favorite one of my favorite characters from Nintendo but because of the airplane racing it's also a different way of racing of course the carts the airplanes and the hovercraft, all really cool stuff, and there's all kinds of collectibles in this game. People really put this game down for being a Mario Kart clone, but it's really more than that. It's really, really a lot more than that. I think in some people's circles, it's even better than Mario Kart, which is really iffy. I almost put it number one on this list, but I just couldn't do it. But um, this game is absolutely beautiful, guys. If you guys have never played this Diddy Kong Racing 64, please go play it. One of the greatest games on the system, period. And, of course, everyone's favorite racing game for the Nintendo 64 is, of course, Mario Kart 64. This game was released February 10th, 1997, developed and published by Nintendo, and is an absolute classic. The game is stands the test of time for the, the, the innovativeness of the greatness. The graphics at the time were great. The multiplayer was amazing. The battle mode was also amazing. And to this day, I still play this game. Me and my buddies still play this game. We'll get four people. We'll play this game. It is nonstop fun, and it's so so amazing it holds up it's one of the best games of all time for any system in my opinion definitely the best racing game on the 64 definitely a great game but uh, that's all we have time for guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video you guys can check out some other stuff i would love you to hear you guys a feedback on this what do you guys think is there things or games we missed do you think games should have been swapped i would love to hear you guys' feedback on this so make sure you guys leave a comment in the comment section also, let me know what should be next. Should we do another system best racing game? Should we do another genre of games? Maybe first-person shooter, um, RPGs. Let me know what you guys want to see, guys, in the comment section. As always, guys, have a great day. Game the fuck on. Remember that it's KMAC time somewhere, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take it easy, and peace out.